On Wednesday, April 3rd, Pikeville High School's Jobs for America's Graduates program will be opening a student-operated store. Students in the program will be selling merchandise from the concession stand to fundraise for the school. JAG specialist Paul Sullivan tells us more about their plans for the new store. We were thinking of fundraising ideas as one of our assignments in JAG, and uh, I met with three girls, you know, Macy Wright, uh, Shelly Sparkman, and Kiara Thornsberry. And I threw out the idea, is all I did, and they ran with it, and it was fun to watch. They uh, scheduled an interview with the administration. They hired workers. Uh, they done a lot of the things, and it was fun to watch. Uh, so April 3rd, we were inviting the community. We invited the mayor, JAG Kentucky specialists, uh, the administration. Our whole JAG class will be there, and uh, we're going to have a ribbon cutting ceremony, 9 o'clock, April 3rd. So we're excited. Appalachian Community Care offers outpatient medication-assisted treatment for addiction, counseling, and behavioral play therapy for children, accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard. Regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, Pikeville, Whitesburg, 606-432-5660. Find them on Facebook. The store will be offering three original t-shirt designs as well as some custom 3D printed items. In the future, the JAG program intends to expand and offer more items for sale. So the goal is to just get as big as we can. That's the goal, but we have to start small, you know, because, you know, our budget is smaller right now. So we have three shirt designs that the girls made themselves, and one shirt design with the trophy that you'll see uh, was hand-drawn by one of our students, Shana Ray. And so that's very exciting. So we've got three shirts to start out with. We have one long sleeve and two short sleeve, and then we're working with the uh, engineering department, and they are 3D printing almost anything you want, just to, they want to raise money so they can keep printing. They want to get the filament for that. And so we will charge that just so they can make money off that. They'll have toys, they'll have some stuff that light up, and almost anything you want for it. So it's exciting. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.